170 kilowatts. This is a stage four Golf R, not one, not two, not three, but four. So this thing has had the whole workshop bench absolutely thrown on this car. A tuned full turbo back exhaust, full engine build, including a GTX turbo. This transforms the car on a whole new level. It is so quick. I haven't even had the chance or the open roads to even give this thing a little push. The owner of this car, Aaron, has told me to drive this very, very carefully, take third gear lightly, and don't even try to push the car in fifth gear because I'll probably go flying out of my seat. Because I don't want anything to happen to this car, and I don't want any fines, nothing. So we're going to be really, really safe with this car, and we're going to keep it within the speed limits. You guys can be the first to see how much of a safe driver I am. So we're taking off now. Holy shit! This thing is absolutely insane! That was second gear! I'm gonna have to find a lot of open space to really give this car a good test. And we're gonna give it my first pull of this car. And honestly, I'm shaking as I tell you this. But let's give it a go. So 7,000 red line. And building. Oh my god, this thing is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It goes like absolute stick. Oh my god, that is a huge, huge number. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so addictive. It doesn't feel like it's gonna kill me. Maybe just a little bit, but it takes the speed and it handles it so, so well. <laughs> power just is consistently attacking me. So we're in third gear. Oh shit! And we are out of the road already. We're gonna do a quick U-turn here. Oh my god, I'm sweating like crazy. This thing is insanely scary. Second gear pull, right out of here. <laughs> this is crazy, dude! Oh my god, I absolutely love your car, Aaron. Even with all this performance on this car, it doesn't hinder the drivability, the handling, and the practicality of this Golf R. It is still a Golf, by any stretch of the word, Golf hatchback. So, it can do everything that you want it to do on a daily basis which is so, so good. The platform of a hatchback is one of my favorites of all time. That is why I own a hatchback as well. And with the performance like this, you don't need a weekender. This is your day-to-day -day drive and your weekender. Holy shit! Even joking. Hopefully that kind of indicates the speed at which I'm going at. If you just see these uh, buildings fly through, that was ridiculously quick. I just need a moment. This car has completely blew my mind and the sense of speed and time has just been lost. That's literally gone out the window because this car defies 
all of that. Aaron has gone to town with this car in every single shape, way and form. The looks of this thing is on another level. The aesthetics are crazy. It's got an A45 rear bar molded on with carbon fiber bits. It's got T37s from Ray's Volk Racing. One of my favorite wheels. It's got super fat, sticky uh, tires. And combined with that, it's got eight pot Alcon brakes. So this car absolutely stops on a dime. It's got a full round carbon fiber body kit and it's been painted Grigio Telasto. Became popular on the Murcielago on Bruce Wayne's car in Batman. On the interior, you've got these R Club Sport seats and they are worth a pretty penny for each seat. And they hug you in really, really tightly. Boost gauge here. FU ratio gauge here just to see the diagnostics of the overall performance of the vehicle and to make sure nothing goes out of whack. So Aaron has told me it'll cost about thirty odd thousand dollars drive in, drive out to get a car that performs, looks and drives as good as this. So that includes paint as well and the guys over at eTuners can sort you out for performance. And I think honestly it's probably the best money you'll ever spend on a car because that thirty thousand dollars makes this one of the quickest cars you will ever encounter on the street it looks as good as this and there is nothing else that can stop you except for the popo just heading to a freeway on ramp here comprehend that speed sometimes thank you so much for watching this video guys and a huge shout out goes to Aaron for letting me drive his insane Golf R honestly Aaron this is one of the craziest cars I have ever driven in my entire life please leave a like if you like this video leave a comment with what you liked about Aaron's car this car is insane and please consider subscribing because it helps the channel go a really long way and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Oh my god, it is insane. This car is actually off chops. Oh, thank god I went to the toilet before because I'd probably lose my shit driving this car.